All right, so what's up, boys and girls? It's your boy, Tech Raj, and I'm back with another episode of the No Money Spent Squad. So, coin count still kind of struggling, dog. Didn't get to knock out the Journey 3 solos, but I wanted to make sure we dropped the video for you today. And we still got an upgrade for you. Now, I wanted to give you an update on what was going on in the comment section in case you didn't hear it. Now, the number one request that I'm actually getting is everybody wants me to try out the speed edition of Ultimate Legend Tony Gonzalez. Now, he has 99 speed, and apparently he's been mossing folks, but he's going for around like 30 to 40K. So, couldn't pick him up quite for this episode, but we're looking out for him. There's also a debate at fullback. People were telling me to get Final Edition Roosevelt Knicks. Other people were telling me to get basically Anthony Sherman. And I had a whole bunch of other requests there. So some pretty good things. Now, my favorite fullback this season was out of position, Dontari Poe. Till the very end, guys, I was trucking people mercilessly with him. He was pancaking people over and over. If you were watching a lot of my halfback player reviews, you saw that he was an absolute beast. But he, too, is going for anywhere between 40K and 60K. Now, I think it's because people really stopped playing mud right now. But I haven't been able to find a lot of these fullbacks even on the auction block. But for today's episode, we're going to address our left end issue. Now, you guys were telling me about a lot of people. We talked about Movers Chris Long. We talked about Team of the Year, uh, Mohamed Wilkerson. People were also talking to me about Team of the Week, JJ Watt. But the one that I came up with was Mohamed Wilkerson. And let me tell you why that is. So right here, our current beast of a left end which was Eric Armstead. We chose him because his speed, his strength, and his acceleration was good, but his block shit was also 96. However, he had horrible play rec and horrible finesse move. But even though Mohamed Wilkerson isn't as fast as Eric Armstead, look at the tackle, guys. 96. Block shit is a 99. Power move is a 97. And he has decent play rec at an 86. So we're going to go ahead and pick up this Mohamed Wilkerson, and I think he's going to be a staple on that defensive line. Now, I promise, promise you guys that I'm going to get that Journey 3 solo done by tomorrow so we can have more coins and more upgrades to choose from. But this is what the offense is looking like right now. As far as the defense, this is what we're looking like right now. Now my defensive line looks pretty beast. Now, I did get a lot of people telling me that I should switch Darby and Sean Smith. Now, my only worry with that is that Sean Smith has... Horrible play rec, to be honest with you. Not play rec, horrible uh, block shit is what he has. So they said against the run, he isn't that great. But they did say he's pretty good against the pass. Now, uh, on the slot, people told me that Darby was a lot better. So I'm excited for my second game where I'm going to be using Deion Buchanan and Thomas Jefferson a lot more. You guys gave me some pointers on how to make my user skills a lot better. So let's see if they're going to work out. Guys, we're 5-0 in rookie first string. As you guys know, one more win is going to give us a playoff berth, a couple of coins. But what we're really looking for is three more wins altogether so we can get that first round by. However, one more wins gives us that playoff berth, guys, so we can keep moving up that ladder and hopefully getting some better competition. All right, so here we go, guys. We're inside NRG Stadium one more time. My opponent has the Detroit Lions uniforms on. We're getting the ball first. I don't like that. But let's see how this goes. Now, today's episode marks two weeks exactly of straight uploads, guys. We're going to continue bringing you those uploads going into the release of Madden 17. Now, I'm really excited, guys, to get back into the swing of things and giving you guys some great content on a daily basis. So my opponent's been calling a crossfire three play pretty much every play. Oh, but the center of the field was open, but we actually dropped the ball. Wow, that sucked. Now, you know what, guys? We are in our own territory, but to be honest with you, I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go for it. I have faith in my team. I have faith in my team. And right there, I was talking about my fullback, but we did get a really good block that sprung that long game. Man, some of you guys in the comment section said, Tech, give the fullback... Vance McDonald some more time. It took Stafford a while to get heated up, which is a good observation by you guys. So my opponent is sliding over the defensive line. I'm going to audible into an HB dive. And right there, it pays off. And Charles is able to rumble over him for the touchdown. There we get that first touchdown. 
even though you guys see me run the, I mean, pass the ball a lot, I can't stress to you how important it is for your scheme to mix the run in there. Because if you don't mix the run in there, it makes you very one-dimensional and it makes it so much easier on your opponent defensively. All right, now here we go. It's gonna be the first play for my opponent. Guys, I, I gotta be honest with you. I love playing defense now as well. And it's one of the things I'm excited for in Mutt 17. You know, I wanna make sure, oh, and that should have been picked off. Like I was saying, I wanna make sure that obviously we're gonna try to find some pretty good bomb squad plays in Mutt 17. But I wanna make sure that my defense is pretty good as well going into next year's game. Right, we're gonna be using Tony Jefferson here. I got a purple over there on the other side, just in case. Oh, and we're able to stop the run on third down. Now my opponent's gonna go for it. No surprise there. Let's see what we can do. Fourth and eight. Fourth and long for my opponent here. This is risky. Uh oh. And it looks like my opponent has a Lions all-time team. That was a pretty good play for him. Let's see what my opponent's going to do here. If he tries to call a similar play, which he's probably going to try to do inside zone, and we get that stopped. So besides the quarterback, looks like my opponent has mostly an all-time Lions squad. All right, so my opponent's been running the ball a lot. Not been doing a lot of passing. Let's see what we can do on this play. And he gets a nice catch. One of the main things I'm doing wrong while usering is that I try to put myself in position and then I go to press triangle. I need to be pressing triangle as soon as the ball is thrown. All right, FB dive, and he's able to make it in. So my opponent's been calling, I said crossfire three plays. If not, he's calling the cover two. So we're gonna bank on the fact that he may call a cover two on this play. And he doesn't, but we're going to throw it out there to green and get ourselves a nice little game. Now, my opponent's been calling two man under pretty much on every play. Let's see what we can do here. He's using his safety, though. And we throw it up. This is actually covered through. Let's see if Wallace can catch this one-on-one, -on -one. and he can't. Now, it's going to be fourth and inches. I'm going to go for it, guys. Let's see what we can get. If he actually moves his offensive line over, I'm not going to call this toss play. If he doesn't, I am. Instead, he's going to use her safety, guys. And we get no blocking. And we can't pick it up. So it's going to be an inside zone. I'm pretty sure it is. And it is. Now my opponent's going into two clock mode. Which actually, it's a, it's a smart call for him to do that, guys. He's probably going to throw a lot of FB dies my way on this one. And there we got our soft that. We can hold him for, to a field goal. This is going to be a win. And he gets a touchdown. All right, we got 13 seconds, guys. Let's see if we can make something happen here. Nice completion. We got to get down. We got to get down. A lot of time wasted there, guys. Okay, so he's not getting any three deep sets. I haven't hit him with this play yet. This is going to be a Hail Mary toss, and let's see if we can actually get this done. So we throw it up. He has everybody back. This is going to be a crapshoot. He does get his hands on it, but he can't catch in traffic. So taking a look at my opponent's team. Huh. Okay. Hmm. So it's one of these teams. All right, so we got a pre-stack team, guys. If we're going to make this comeback, we're going to have to work. All right, he goes nothing. My opponent with the inside zone, and that's a wide open play for him right there. And he's running two clock in the third quarter. This is like a guy that's just trying to grind for season vet vets badges. And we get the hit. All right, so here we go. Second and 18. I think this is going to be another inside zone. And it is. We're able to shut that down. All right, here we go. Third and 20. Third and 20. 
Throws it up, and we're able to stop that. All right, so here we go, fourth and 20. My opponent's going to go for it. He does have a 99 overall team. Throws it up, and he catches it, but that is short. We get the ball back. So as stated earlier, my opponent's going for a lot of cover three blitzes. Let's see if maybe we can expose that here real quick. All right, so here we go. Throw it up, but unfortunately we get hit right away, so he's bringing some pretty good heat. All right, here we go. And we got something open right over the middle, and Williams comes up with the catch. Let's see what my opponent's gonna do here. Call him the same play, but we're gonna go ahead and hit that right there, and that's a first down. Third and goal, guys, we have to score here. And we get in a touchdown. Nice, accurate throw by Flacco. Just you guys know, when a team has, when a guy has a better team than you guys do, there's still no excuse. At the end of the day, regardless of the overalls of the team, it's still up to you to have to beat that player. So don't ever come up with that excuse that, oh, you know, you have to do certain things to win against somebody. Here we go, inside zone. He's gonna kick it to the outside and his Barry Sanders once again breaks tackles, guys. We have not been able to make a single tackle behind the line with a cornerback all game. Here we go, first and 10 after that play. Inside zone once again and we're there and we're able to put a stop to that. Now this is probably definitely gonna be the last time he has the ball. He's probably gonna run this clock all the way down. Let's see what he's going to do. Another inside zone, and we're able to get a tackle there. All right, here we go, third and six. If he tries to throw that curl route, we got him. Oh, and he hits us up with the nice play right where we were at. So it looks like my opponent's playing over the top coverage. He keeps leaving this underneath stuff open every time. So we are fourth and one. And that's going to be game, guys. Try to surprise him with the run play, but unfortunately, we couldn't do it. All right, here we go. Inside zone. Third and 12. I expect him to run the ball here. And he does. He's just going to kick his field goal right now and go up by 10. All right, so here we go. We throw it up, guys. We throw it up, and I do get the ball completed, and we're able to get a touchdown here at the end, but that's probably too little too late, guys. All right, here we go for the onside kick. A oh, horrible onside kick by my part. I thought I actually hit the button to stop it, but it didn't work out. So that's it, guys. Too little too late. My opponent had a 99 overall team, but that's not the reason why we lost. He had a good mix of blitzes. He was also taking what we gave him, you know, chewing clock early. So he was basically controlling the, the time of possession game. And I just made the wrong choice on a lot of fourth downs that I had. it. So no upgrades right now, but I still owe you one for the next one. Like I said, I promise you this time, I'm actually going to get those Journey 3 solos done for you guys for the next episode so we can have a good stable of coins. So we can still get that first round by. However, that is the first loss of the series the series to a pretty good opponent that has a pretty good team as you can see here we pretty much got the lead on average yards per play we had more passing yards none of us had any turnovers he did get me on the rushing game that gold master barry sanders two good guys broke several tackles right here you can see five broken tackles for that barry sanders just torching our defense 40 yards right here after contact and that was pretty much what put the nail on us so once again, guys, here's the lineup. There's my offense, guys. There's my defense. In the comment section below, continue the conversation about a new fullback. Let me know what you think about me picking up that team of the year, Mohamed Wilkerson, and some of the other new additions I had. Plus, troll me in the comment section as to maybe why I lost. Tell me what I could have done better. But anyway, drop that like, guys, if you want to see some more episodes. Subscribe if you're new, but most importantly, take care of yourself.